right guys so again today we're going to be working on writing variable expressions so let's review a couple things that we talked about yesterday just in case you've forgotten okay step one when you're writing a variable expression is to look for words that are clues to which of the math four math operations that you're going to use so just a quick refresher some of those words um, are for addition like some plus gain more than exceed increased by more Okay, all of those words tell us that we're adding something. So when we see them and we highlight them, we know that our math operation is going to be addition. Okay, um, same for subtraction. There are certain words that tell us mm, we're taking away. Those words are words like difference. Um, difference is actually the answer to a subtraction problem. So anytime you see that, you know that you're subtracting. Diminished, less than. Less than was a special one that we talked about in which if you want less than something, whatever comes at the end, needs to go at the beginning. So less than is when we flip your uh, expression all the way around. Um, minus, decreased by, less. These are all words that tell us we're taking something away. Therefore, when you see those and you highlight those, we are subtracting. Um, multiplication, we have product. Product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So anytime we see that, we know that we're going to definitely be divide or multiplying. Quadruple uh, means we're times in by four. Twice means we're multiplying by two. Triple means we're multiplying by three. All of those words multiplied by times tell us that we're going to be multiplying. Um, for division, we have words like quotient. Quotient is the answer to a division problem. So many times you see that crazy Q word, you know that you're going to be dividing. Fourth would mean that we're going to divide by four. Half means we're going to divide by two. Third, divide by three. Divided by is a good one to tell us that we're dividing. Uh, ratio per, all of these words tell us that we're splitting them into groups or we're splitting them into some other number. So we will be dividing. All right. So after you figure out your math operation, there's two things left to do. The next one is to find your variable. And sometimes the phrase gives it to you. It'll say a number X or a number Y. Um, other times it'll just say uh, twice the number of students. Well, we don't know the number of students. So we have to come up with that variable on our own. So that's the second thing you need to do. And then last but not least, you want to pick out any constants uh, if you're adding, subtracting, or dividing, or coefficients if you're multiplying for the expression. Okay? So reminder, when we write multiplication, we do it in a very specific way. When you're writing your expressions and we're writing the multiplication, we want to write it in a side-by-side -side fashion. So uh, we know that a coefficient right next to a variable means to multiply, so we don't put the extra time sign. The time sign sometimes can be mistaken for an x, so we just write the coefficient right next to the variable. 3a, 2t, 0.4f, 1.5c. These are all saying to multiply. Also, when we're dividing, we do the, we write that in a special way. We use the fraction bar to represent division. So um, c over 2 really says c divided by 2. t over 5 really says t divided by 5. 3 over x says 3 divided by x. So that's how we write our multiplication and division. So when we start your homework today, we're going to start with question three. One and two are really easy, and I totally think you guys can do those all by yourself. So let's jump straight to number three. And we're going to go ahead and pick out some of the most important pieces of information. So number three says eight more than the product of 12 and X. So if we start highlighting or we start circling, the first thing I'm going to circle is eight, because that's the first number I see. More than is important because that tells us a math operation. Product also tells us a math operation. 12 and x. Okay, so we're going to write this one straight from the words. We're going to translate it um, word for word into math. When we translate, translate 8 into numbers, we just get an 8. Okay, more than is one of those addition words. So we know that we're going to add product product was in the list of multiplying words. So we know we're going to multiply two numbers and we're going to multiply the two numbers after that. So we're going to multiply 12 and X. And we write those in that side by side fashion with our coefficient right next to the constant. So our final expression says eight plus 12 X. Okay. All right. So we're going to jump around a little bit more, go to number six. Last one we're going to do together, the product of 13 and X more than eight. So again, we're just going to highlight those important pieces. Um, product is a math word, so we'll circle it. 13 is our number word. It's one of our constants, so we're going to circle it as well. Um, we have x, obviously, is our variable. 
another math word, more than, and another, uh, another number we've got there. So if we um, are going to read this straight from the words, we're going to translate word for word. The first thing that we see is the product. Product was a multiply word, so we know we're going to be multiplying something, and we're going to multiply the two things that are after that. So it says the product of 13 and x. If we're going to multiply 13 and x, 13 is going to be our coefficient. So we just write 13x. We know that the multiplication is in between the coefficient and the variable. So we don't have to, we don't have to put any sort of math sign. We know that those two next to each other mean multiplication. Now, more than is one of those addition words. So we're going to put our plus sign next. And then 8 is actually already translated to a number for us. So we just copy it down. Our final expression says 13x plus 8. So for your um, other eight questions, I want you to do the same exact thing. I want you to circle those important pieces um, and just translate word for word. Now, be careful, like I said, of the word less than. That was the only one we talked about that we weren't going to translate word for word. Okay, that's the one where we have to flip around. Whatever comes at the end has got to go at the beginning. All right, all right, finish up that homework.